नमस्ते एवरी एक्सपेक्टेशन लीड्स यू इन टू अ बॉन्डेज एंड द मोर एक्सपेक्टेशन यू हैव द मोर यू बिकम मिजरेबल इट इज ओनली वेन यू गिव अप एक्सपेक्टेशन्स दैट यू लर्न टू लिव युअर लाइफ वेन इट कम्स टू चिल्ड्रन मेनी पीपल आर टू मच ऑब्सिस्ड अबाउट दर चिल्ड्रन whether my son will give me this whether my daughter will become that the more you are obsessed about your children the more you will become miserable attachment obsession all of this eventually brings miseries in life there are many such real life scenarios where children have become the source of miseries and many fathers and mothers are suffering at the hands of their children when there is a divorce generally there is a fight between the husband and the wife for the custody of the child both think that if i get the child i will be the happiest person but what guarantee there is that the child will turn out to be good you have fought in the court you have got the custody and you are happy thinking that the child will be the source of your happiness but in many cases the same child has become the source of many miseries but people don't understand and if you go and tell them they will not listen and that is how people continue to suffer because of their own attachments and their assumptions many people assume that if i become a father or i become a mother then everything will be so goody goody but you please do a good research and you find out those fathers and mothers who have two three kids and how much suffering they are facing because of those kids what i am saying is that you don't have to go behind a certain desire because you don't know what that desire will eventually lead you into that is why it is said that whatever you desire it will be fulfilled and then later you will suffer in this podcast i have specifically talked about those scenarios where the child is insensitive and not able to do anything unworthy and such a child continues to blame his parents throughout his life so i have talked much about an insensitive child and at the same time i have also shared a beautiful story a story of a tree and i insist to all my close followers please listen to this story it is very very beautiful so let's begin many a times what you desire turns out to be a disaster that is why the master says think before you desire a thing there is every possibility it will be fulfilled and then you will suffer that's what happened to giriraj he desired for a child and then the same child became the source of all his sufferings and pain many men and women desire a child and they take a lot of efforts to bear a child they may pray to god they may do difficult rituals they may take all kind of medicines and finally one day they are blessed with a son or a daughter and then they feel as if they have won the whole world 
then all kind of hopes and expectations start rising in their being my son will become a doctor my daughter will become an engineer my kids will take good care of me when i become old my kids will make me a proud parent and all sorts of such fancy dreams and hopes and expectations engulf their mind and then slowly slowly as their child grows as he becomes old they start realizing that they are in deep mess because now they can clearly see that their child is becoming a nuisance in our indian context there is a beautiful word nalayak nalayak means a person who is of no use who is utterly useless and can do nothing in life in plain english words nalayak means unworthy so then these parents realize that their child is unworthy and they have literally wasted all their money and energy in raising such an unworthy child who does nothing and just eats sleeps and spends their hard earned money I have met many such great lawyers doctors and politicians who are fed up of their child because their child has turned out to be unworthy nalayak he is as good as dead for them now i will discuss certain astrological signs in the chart that signify such an unworthy child but before that let us first observe the planets that signify children or child birth the very first star that signify children is the star sun sun is a star and not a planet yet in our routine language we address sun as a planet so sun is the foremost planet that signify children because sun rules the fifth house in the kala purush kundali the second foremost planet that signify child birth is venus remember it is the sperm that brings life and fertilizes the female egg and venus rules over the male sperm and so venus is a life provider and thus after sun venus becomes the most important planet when it comes to children or child birth and then comes the last and the most significant planet planet jupiter jupiter is the planet that loves expansion family expansion is possible only when child birth happens and so jupiter is the boss when it comes to securing one's dynasty vansh vansh vruddhi meaning expansion of your family dynasty that comes under jupiter so now that we have noted these three planets sun venus and jupiter as the planets signifying children or child birth it is necessary that we also focus on the houses signifying children fifth house is the main house of children seventh house signify the second child so now that you have known the planets and houses that signify children and child birth i will now mention the six signs that signify a bad arrogant offensive unworthy insensitive child sun saturn conjunction and jupiter is retrograde or jupiter is associated with malefic planet whereas venus is with ketu or rahu the second point is fifth house lord conjunct saturn and jupiter venus are associated with malefic or are in combust position the third point is sun in the fifth house and fifth house lord is in the sixth eighth or twelfth house while jupiter and venus is debilitated the fourth point is mars is in the fifth house while jupiter is associated with saturn and venus is debilitated in the chart then there is no happiness from children 
सन वीनस एंड जुपिटर इन क्रूर नक्षत्रास और तीक्ष्ण नक्षत्रास कैन कॉज मच अनहैपीनेस फ्रॉम चिल्ड्रन पूर्वा फाल्गुनी पूर्वा शाढ़ा पूर्वा भाद्रपद भरणी मघा आर एड्रेस्ड एज क्रूर मीनिंग क्रुएल नक्षत्रास वाइल मुला ज्येष्ठा आद्र अश्लेषा आर तीक्ष्ण नक्षत्रास क्रूर मीन्स क्रुएल एंड तीक्ष्ण मीन्स शार्प लाइक कनाइफ सन ज्युपिटर एंड व्हीनस इन दीज नक्षत्रास इज इंडीड नॉट अ गुड साइन एंड द नेटिव विल एक्सपीरियंस मच पेन एंड सफरिंग एट द हैंड्स ऑफ हिज चिल्ड्रन फिफ्थ हाउस लॉर्ड इन क्रूर और तीक्ष्ण नक्षत्रास कैन ऑल्सो कॉज मच पेन एंड सफरिंग फ्रॉम द चाइल्ड The native either loses his child by means of divorce or early child death and if the child survives then the same child becomes the worst enemy and causes much suffering to the native human world is vast very vast and so there are many more combinations that signify suffering due to an insensitive unworthy child However for now you all must remember that whenever fifth house fifth house lord sun venus and jupiter are weak or afflicted in the chart then there is no happiness from children one day a young man came to seek the blessings of the master and i was sitting at the feet of the master and the young man said master I and my wife are trying for a child but there is no luck please help us the master smiled whenever the master smiled the whole environment would light up it was a blessing to experience those moments with the master and so then the master said gopal you and your wife are beautiful souls you both are very sensitive and helpful by nature your devotion and your faith is very deep but tell me what will happen if an utterly arrogant unworthy insensitive child is born in your family that child will then destroy all your happiness and peace and you both are so sweet that i would not like you both to suffer at the hands of such an unworthy child still if you insist then i can help you to bear a child but be aware it is not going to be of worth gopal was indeed a very sweet faithful sensitive person he had a tremendous faith in the master and he was an intelligent fellow he started crying but as tears dropped from his eyes he said master you are so compassionate how could i thank you i am speechless henceforth i will never ask for a child we both are better without a child than to have an unworthy child the master was also moved he could understand that it was not an easy decision but he knew that his gopal was also not an ordinary man and so he moved his hand on gopal's head and said gopal look the whole world is there whomsoever you will offer love will become your child expand your consciousness and come out of this four walls of sansar gopal was a wise person but not everyone can understand and so people keep trying for a child as if the child is going to be the source of their happiness but what if the child becomes the source of their miseries today millions of fathers and millions of mothers are suffering because of an insensitive unworthy child and they cannot do anything about it because how can you kill your own child and so then they continue to suffer day and night their child gives them unbearable pain and emotional traumas the other day a very old mother was talking with me she said 
she has only one son and she invested all her money and energy in raising him up she was a single mom and now her son says i am living with you because i want someone to cook for me and you are a good cook so see the insensitiveness the son is so insensitive that the value of his mother is only limited to a value of a cook this is how hundreds and thousands of parents suffer every day when their son and daughter hurt them by their offensive insensitive talks and in worst scenarios there was an old woman who said that her son beats her every day and yet she cannot do anything because where will she go she had nobody to look after her she was counting on her son however her son made her count her days until one evening she died many men and women cry because they lost the custody of their child in a divorce case but what is the guarantee that if you would have got the custody of your child then that child would have turned good for you but shallow men and shallow women don't understand they bring all sorts of those foolish emotions and in the process cause much pain to themselves whatever happens happens for good if you go by this belief then everything works fine for you but generally people are so much fired up in manipulating situations and then in the end these kind of people suffer a lot neem karoli baba says it is very difficult to know exactly what good should come out of a particular situation to attempt to manipulate circumstances so your idea of good can come about is to let the ego play god and that as you know can and does backfire but shallow men and shallow women try to manipulate circumstances by means of black magic spell or a ways of the court they think they are smart but in the end everything backfires on them they end in utter miseries many fathers and mothers suffer due to an utterly selfish child reminds me of a beautiful story in this story the tree represents the father and the mother there was once an ancient and majestic tree with branches spreading out towards the sky when it was in a flowering mood butterflies of all shapes colors and sizes danced around it when it grew blossoms and bore fruit birds from far away lands came and sang in it the branches like outstretched hands blessed all who came and sat in their shade a small boy used to come and play under it and the big tree developed an affection for the small boy love between big and small is possible if the big is not aware that it is big the tree did not know it was big only man has that kind of knowledge the big always has the ego as its prime concern but for love nobody is big or small love embraces whomsoever comes near so the tree developed a love for this small boy who used to come to play near it its branches were high but it bent and bowed them down so that he might pluck its flowers and pick its fruit love is ever ready to bow the ego is never ready to bend if you approach the ego its branches will stretch upwards even more it will stiffen so you cannot reach it the playful child came and the tree bowed its branches the tree was very pleased when the child plucked some flowers its entire being was filled with the joy of love love is always happy when it can give something the ego is always happy when it can take something 
द बॉय ग्रीव समटाइम्स ही स्लेप्ट ऑन द ट्रीज लैप समटाइम्स ही एट इट्स फ्रूट एंड समटाइम्स ही वोर अ क्राउन ऑफ द ट्रीज फ्लावर्स एंड एक्टेड लाइक अ जंगल किंग वन बिकम्स लाइक अ किंग वेन द फ्लावर्स ऑफ लव आर देर बट वन बिकम्स पुअर एंड मिजरेबल वेन द थॉर्स ऑफ द ईगो आर प्रेजेंट to see the boy wearing a crown of flowers and dancing about filled the tree with joy it nodded in love it sang in the breeze the boy grew even more he began to climb the tree to swing on its branches the tree felt very happy when the boy rested on its branches love is happy when it gives comfort to someone the ego is only happy when it gives discomfort With the passage of time the burden of other duties came to the boy ambition grew he had exams to pass he had friends to chat with and to wander about with so he did not come often but the tree waited anxiously for him to come it called from its soul come come i am waiting for you love waits day and night and the tree waited the tree felt sad when the boy did not come love is sad when it cannot share love is sad when it cannot give love is grateful when it can share when it can surrender totally love is the happiest as he grew the boy came less and less to the tree the man who becomes big whose ambitions grow finds less and less time for love the boy was now engrossed in worldly affairs one day while he was passing by the tree said to him i wait for you but you do not come i expect you daily the boy said what do you have why should i come to you have you any money I am looking for money the ego is always motivated only if there is some purpose to be served then the ego will come but love is motiveless love is its own reward the startled tree said you will come only if i give something that which withholds is not love the ego amasses but love gives unconditionally the tree said we don't have that kind of sickness and we are joyful flowers bloom on us many fruits grow on us we give soothing shade we dance in the breeze and sing songs innocent birds hop on our branches and chirp even though we don't have money the day we get involved with money we will have to go to the temples like you weak men do to learn how to obtain peace to learn how to find love no we do not have any need for money the boy said then why should i come to you i will go where there is money i need money the ego asks for money because it needs power the tree thought for a while and said don't go anywhere else my dear pick my fruit and sell it you will get money that way the boy brightened immediately he climbed up and picked all the tree's fruit even the unripe ones were shaken down the tree felt happy even though some twigs and branches were broken even though some of its leaves had fallen to the ground getting broken also makes love happy but even after getting the ego is not happy the ego always desires more the tree didn't notice that the boy hadn't even once looked back to thank him it had it had its thanks when the boy accepted the offer to pick and sell its fruit the boy did not come back for a long time now he had money and he was busy making more money from that money he had forgotten all about the tree years passed the tree was sad it yearned for the boy's return like a mother whose breasts are filled with milk but whose son is lost 
her whole being craves for her son she searches madly for her son so he can come to lighten her such was the inner cry of that tree its entire being was in agony after many years now an adult the boy came to the tree the tree said come come my boy come embrace me the man said stop that sentimentality that was a childhood thing i am not a child anymore the ego sees love as a madness as a childish fantasy but the tree invited him come swing on my branches come dance come play with me the man said stop all this useless talk i need to build a house can you give me a house the tree exclaimed a house i am without a house only men live in houses nobody else lives in a house but men and do you notice his condition after his confinement among four walls the bigger his buildings the smaller man becomes we do not stay in houses but you can cut and take away my branches and then you may be able to build a house without wasting any time the man brought an axe and severed all the branches of the tree now the tree was just a bare trunk but love cares not for such things even if its limbs are severed for the loved one love is giving love is ever ready to give the man didn't even bother to thank the tree he built his house and the days flew into years the trunk waited and waited it wanted to call for him but it had neither branches nor leaves to give it strength the wind blew by but it couldn't even manage to give the wind a message and still its soul resounded with one prayer only come come my dear come but nothing happened time passed and the man had now become old once he was passing by and he came and stood by the tree the tree asked what else can i do for you you have come after a very very long time the old man said what else can you do for me i want to go to distant lands to earn more money i need a boat to travel cheerfully the tree said but that's no problem my love cut my trunk and make a boat from it i would be so very happy if i could help you go to far away lands to earn money but please remember i will always be awaiting your return the man brought a saw cut down the trunk made a boat and sailed away now the tree is a small stump and it waits for its loved one to return it waits and it waits and it waits the man will never return the ego only goes where there is something to gain and now the tree has nothing absolutely nothing to offer the ego does not go where there is nothing to gain the ego is an eternal beggar in a continuous state of demand and love is charity love is a king and emperor is there any greater king than love one day a sufi saint was passing by and for a while he rested near that small stump and the tree that is the small stump whispered to him that friend of mine has not come back yet i am very worried in case he might have drowned or in case he might be lost he may be lost in one of those far away countries he might not even be alive anymore how i wish for news of him as i near the end of my life i would be satisfied with some news of him at least then i could die happily but he would not come even if i could call him i have nothing left to give and he only understands the language of taking language of taking that's what 
such unworthy insensitive children understands the language of taking many a times you are destined to have such unworthy ungrateful insensitive children because of your own past life bad karmas my suggestion is live through it so that all your past karmic dues are over and in the next life you may not have to come across such unworthy insensitive children again enough for now remember to meditate and chant daily and instead of crying over your children's insensitiveness it is better that you ignore them and you stop expecting anything in return remember the story of that tree the child never returns because now the tree has nothing more to offer it has become old and it has been reduced to a mere small stump life indeed is a series of suffering that is why buddha says life is suffering but it is necessary that you live your life and self realize this buddha fact that life indeed is a suffering my utmost love to all my viewers and listeners who are suffering at the hands of their children more strength and more power to you jai shri ganesha jai guru ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम